I'm not so interested in LLMs anymore. <laughs> you know, the kind of the last thing they are in the hands of, you know, industry product people, kind of you know improving at the margin, uh, trying to get you know more data, more compute, generating uh, synthetic data. Um, I think there are more interesting questions in uh, four four things: how you get machines to understand the physical world. And Jensen talked about this mm -hmm. this morning in this keynote. How do you get, get them to have persistent memory, which not too many people talk about? And then the last two are, how do you get them to reason and plan? And there is some effort, of course, to get you know, LLMs to reason. But in my opinion, it's a very kind of simplistic way of uh, viewing, um, viewing reasoning. I think there are probably kind of more, you know, better way of, uh, of doing this. So, um, so I'm excited about things that a lot of people in this community, in the tech community, mm -hmm. might get excited about five years from now. Um, but right now, it doesn't look so exciting because it's some obscure academic paper. So, so many people are saying that um, AGI, or I guess you would call it AMI, is just around the corner. Um, what's, your, what's your view? Um, you know, when do you think it will be here? Why? What are the gaps? Yeah, yeah. We I, I don't like the term AGI because uh, you know people use the term to designate systems that have human level intelligence, and the, the sad thing is that human intelligence is super specialized. So calling this general, I think, is a is a misnomer. Um, so I prefer the phrase uh, AMI that we pronounce AMI. That means advanced machine intelligence. Okay, it's just vocabulary. Um, I think the this concept that I'm I'm describing of systems that you know can learn uh, abstract mental models of the world and use them for reasoning and planning. I think we're probably going to have a good handle on getting this to work, at least at a small scale, within three years, three to five years. And then it's going to be a matter of you know, scaling them up, et cetera, um, until we get to human-level AI. Now, here's the thing. Historically in AI, um, there's generation after generation of AI researchers who have discovered a new paradigm and have claimed that's it, within 10 years we're gonna have, or five years or whatever, uh, we're gonna have human level intelligence, we're gonna have machines that are smarter than humans in, in all domains. And that's been the case for 70 years. Um, and it's been those, you know, those waves every 10 years or so. Um, the current wave is also wrong, so the idea that you, know, you just need to scale, scale up LLMs or have them generate you know, thousands of sequences of tokens and select the good ones to get to human level intelligence, and you're gonna have, you know, within a few years, two years, I think, for some predictions, uh, a, a country of geniuses in a data center, to quote uh, someone who re will remain nameless. I think it's nonsense. It's complete nonsense. I mean, sure, there are going to be a lot of applications for which you know, systems in the near future are going to be you know, PhD level, if you want, but in terms of you know, overall uh, intelligence. No, we're still very far from it. I mean, you know, when I say very far, it might happen within a decade or so.